Hey guys, this is Shaz and welcome to the Ministry of Reviews. Guys, I keep on getting so many questions from my viewers on how to use wireless CarPlay or Android Auto if they don't have a CarPlay equipped system in their cars. I just want to tell all those people that there is a solution for this problem. And that is a portable smart screen that is equipped with CarPlay and Android Auto wireless systems. So today, I will be testing one of the best portable CarPlay smart screen in the market. This is from the company called Coral Vision, and this is their model called CarPlay Wireless Pro A. Now this is an upgraded model, and it comes now with so many great features like wireless Apple CarPlay and iPhone mirroring, uh, wireless Android Auto and Android mirroring, Bluetooth 4.2, FM transmitter to connect the sound with the car's audio system, and it also has a built-in high-performance speaker. So let's take this out to my car and test all the great features. But before that, let's do the unboxing and check out the contents of this box. The device comes in a, in a very nice hard box. So you've got the, the picture of the device, uh, the features and some more features on this side and, uh, and right at the back you can see the specifications of the device. Alright, so now let's open it. All right, folks, this is all we get in the box. Uh, so starting from top left, this is uh, an adhesive glass plate, uh, which we can use to stick the portable screen directly on the dashboard or on the windscreen if we want to. We get a very nice instructions manual with the pictures and images and all you know instructions on it, which is really nice. Then we get the windscreen mounting bracket. This is what we will use to connect the device uh, with uh, the windscreen or in, even if you want to do it on the dashboard. Then we've got a 12 volt cigarette lighter power adapter, um, a rubber strip to keep the device stable and prevent from slipping, uh, a 1.5 meter long aux audio cable, then this is a rear view camera and this comes with a 12 meter long harness cable and this is very easy. So for those of you who want to connect the camera, it's a very simple plug and play system. And finally, we have the 7 inch IPS portable smart screen. So a little bit about the screen, it's not very heavy. Uh, it's a little thick compared to other uh, screens. Now, you don't see any connections on any of the sides except for the left side. Uh, so we have uh, the power here, then type A USB, type C USB, audio out, which is for the Oxford audio cable, and then finally the AVN connection, this is for the rear view camera. We also get a built-in microphone as well as built-in high-performance speaker. That's it guys. This is all we get in the box. Now we will take this out, set it up in my car and then test all the great features. So I have connected uh, the power connector on the portable screen. Uh, now I will connect this 12 volt cigarette lighter in the cigarette socket. Alright guys, so I've uh, connected the power to the portable screen and uh, this is the main home page of the screen. Uh, I must say it's very nice, very clear. Uh, and it's not very crowded. 
I can take you through the different options that are available on the home page starting from the first one which is Android Auto this this is for Android mobile phones then we've got Apple CarPlay for iPhones then we've got Bluetooth phone and Bluetooth music uh, then we have the USB and uh, we will connect a USB pen drive with the device to check out uh, and play some videos then we go to the second screen we've got uh, the settings option and then the final one is the FM transmitter to transmit the audio to the sound system of the car all right so the first thing let's set up the sound system so we go to the FM transmitter uh, and then what we need to do is find uh, an empty frequency um, on FM radio uh, I've done that on my radio here 90.15 megahertz let's do uh, the same 90.15 there you go and now this should have connected with the system uh, of the car let's go back to the home page uh, just to check whether the uh, audio is connected now let's start off by playing something on the pen drive let me connect the pen drive using the USB A port Right. So the audio is now connected with the system of the car, which is very nice, it's very clear. Uh, now we're playing a video file. Uh, from the pen drive on the screen and as you can see it's absolutely ultra clear very nice result I must say this is high resolution IPS 7 inch screen so really happy with the result of the screen so guys now we will test uh, the different features of the device uh, we'll start off with Android Auto, then we'll do the CarPlay, uh, and then we will do uh, the iPhone screen mirroring as well. So let's start off by doing, um, connecting my Samsung phone with Android Auto. So what we need to do is, we need to go to my Bluetooth, switch on the Bluetooth. I should be able to see a device DU1000 connect the DU1000 and once it's connected then you can see it on the screen it's connected and then you can see automatically we would be able to see the Android Auto home page appearing on the device there you go see all the different apps that are available and on Android Auto will will show on the screen uh, and if you want to go back we can click on exit and then we can go back to the home page of the device so Android Auto and then go back to the home page now I will not explain all the different functions and features of Android Auto if you want to know about it you can go and watch uh, my earlier videos where I explain the Android Auto function in detail but uh, very simple uh, we just need to connect the device on the Bluetooth and then that device picks it up and connects it automatically now let's uh, test a few of the Apple CarPlay features just to check if it is working and if the sound is coming through the system of my car hey Siri show me map for Dubai mall okay here's what I found So Siri is working on the device uh, and you know the navigation everything is coming out very nicely now let's test another feature hey Siri play something on Spotify okay here's today's top hits on Spotify hey 
Hey Siri, stop the music. All right, go. So, you know, Spotify is also working. Uh, hey Siri, can you call my Samsung mobile? Calling my Samsung mobile. Work. There you go. So, calling is also working. Music is also working and navigation is also working. So, everything seems to be working fine. So, the last thing I would like to test now is uh, screen mirroring on the iOS. So, in order for us to mirror iPhone screen, what we need to do is we need to go to the settings and, and make some changes. So, we go here. Uh, next to iOS you can see it's CarPlay we need to change this to iOS mirroring All right that's it and the second step is to go on my Apple phone and open the Wi-Fi settings and I should be able to see car Wi-Fi option appearing there I just need to connect to that Wi-Fi and then I just need to go and click on screen mirroring. I should be able to see AirPlay. There you go. So now you can see that my screen is mirrored. I can go to my YouTube channel, play something from my channel. You know? Hey guys, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. Hey guys, today... Where I go? So screen mirroring is working perfectly fine. I really like that the sound is connected with the system of my car. So I don't really need to rely on the built-in speaker of the, uh, of the screen. So overall, I really like the device. I think all the main features are working perfectly fine. We've connected Android Auto. We've connected Apple CarPlay. We've also tested the screen mirroring. We've also tested the sound connection with the car so and also connected the usb and and we saw that the the resolution of the screen when we play a movie is very very nice so overall i really like this device i think only negative thing about this device i would say is the is the width is quite thick but you know if you're keeping it on the car resting it on the dashboard it should not be a big deal so overall i really like this device very happy with it if you like this device and you're interested to buy it, just go to the link that I have provided in the description of this video. It, that will take you directly to the website where you can purchase this device. That's it guys. If you have any questions about this device or any other device, just drop me a WhatsApp message. Uh, I've provided a direct WhatsApp message link in the description of this video. Finally, please do subscribe to the channel, like this video and share it with your friends. Thanks.